now we are discussing the lr rotation we know that whenever we are inserting a node into a avl tree and because of that the tree become unbalanced then rotations are applied to make the tree balance and talking about the lr rotation whenever the inserted node is at the right subtree of left subtree then if tree become disbalanced then lr rotation is applied talking about lr or rl these two rotations are called the double rotation the reason behind they are calling the double rotation because if i talk about lr rotation then here rr rotation is applied followed by the ll rotation so because of this reason this lr rotation or rl rotation these are called the double rotation so here we are discussing the lr rotation first of all i am taking a example tree with the help of that we will learn the rl rotation so let us suppose that in this tree we are having certain elements which is 44 then 30 then 76 afterward 16 and 39 so these are the elements first of all we has to find out whether this tree is balanced avl or not we know that the balancing factor of the avl tree should be equal to 0 1 or minus 1 then it is this is called the balanced avl tree now first of all we know that all the leaf nodes are having the balancing factor as 0 now finding the balancing factor of node 30 on the left hand side we are having height 1 right hand side we are having height 1 so 1 minus 1 is 0 now we are finding the balancing factor of node 44 on the left hand side one level two level so two levels are there on the right hand side only one level so 2 minus 1 is 1 now we are going to check whether this is following the criteria we know that balancing factor should be 0 1 or minus 1 so 0 0 0 0 and 1 so all the nodes are following the criteria of balancing factor so this one is the balanced avl let us suppose that here we are going to insert a node which is 37 so here in the existing tree we are going to insert the node 37 so node 37 is less than 44 but it is greater than 30 and it is less than 39 so here on the left hand side we are going to insert the node number 37 so here it will be inserted so here is the node number 37 now is the time to find the balancing factor because after every insertion we have to find out the balancing factor all the leaf nodes are having the balancing factor as 0 now find the balancing factor of 39 on the left we are having 1 on the right we are having nothing so 1 minus 0 is 1 now find the balancing factor of 30 here we are having left which is 1 on the right we are having 1 and 2 so 1 minus 2 is minus 1 now find the balancing factor of node 44 so here on the left we are having 1 2 and 3 so three levels are there and on the right hand side we are having only one level so 3 minus 1 is 2 so here we are checking that whether the tree is following the avl property or not so here we are having 0 0 1 0 -1 no problem but here we are having 2 which is not following the property because balancing factor should be 0 1 or minus 1 so here this is the unbalanced avl tree now to make this tree balance we has to apply the rotation but which rotation should be applied so we has to find out that where the node is inserted we know that node is 37 so 37 is inserted here now where it is we know that it is at the left subtree and afterward on the right subtree so here the lr rotation should be applied to make this tree balance so now we are applying the lr rotation so now here is the tree where we has to apply the lr rotation we should understand the funda that this tree is more aligned towards the left side and on the right hand side there is only one level and the left hand side there are three levels so this tree will rotate in this particular direction 
so now we are learning the shortcut with the help of shortcut we can make the rotation very easily we know that for the easiest part we has to club the two nodes so i am clubbing these two nodes together now they will be together in the final result and also these two nodes will be clubbed together so this is the two combination which will be together and i am breaking these nodes from here now i am going to construct the final tree out of this so first of all i am taking the two nodes which are clubbed which is 30 and 16 together so here we are writing 30 node and then after node number 16 so they are together and this is node number 16 now i am taking the another side club nodes together which is 44 and 76 so these two nodes will again be together 44 and 76 so i am writing 44 and 76 now we know that 30 and 16 they are combined and they are taken 44 and 76 they are combined and they are taken but in between there is no node available to connect them so we are giving the chance to the next node which is 39 so we are giving the chance to 39 here and 39 will come to connect these two sequence of nodes so we are giving the chance to node 39 and we are now checking whether it is following all the property now talking about this 39 30 is less than 16 is less than so no problem talking about right hand side 44 is greater 76 is greater so yes 39 is following all the property so 39 is given the chance and it will be there now we are having one node remaining which is 37 so we are taking this 37 node here so this is the node 37 we are writing 37 here now we have to use our intelligence that where this 37 node will be there this 37 is less than 39 but greater than 30 so we will attach this 37 here so now this is the final tree which is constructed after the rotation and this rotation is called the la rotation now we have to find whether this tree is the balanced or not so we are first of all giving the balancing factor zero to all the leaf nodes now we are going to find the balancing factor of node 30 so on the left there is one on the right there is one so 1 minus 1 is 0 here now we are finding the balancing factor of node 44 so on the left there is nothing on the right there is one level so 0 minus 1 is minus 1 now we are finding the balancing factor of node 39 here so on the left level 1 level 2 so two levels are there on the right there is one level two level so 2 minus 2 is 0 now we are checking that this avl is following the balancing factor property or not so 0 0 0 then again 0 minus 1 and 0 all the balancing factors are 0 1 and minus 1 so it is following the property that means this is the balanced avl tree so here we have performed the rotation and the rotation is called LR because the inserted node was at the right subtree of the left subtree and this rotation is the LR rotation and in this rotation we have learned that we have combined the two extreme nodes and the next chance is given to a node so that it can be the parent. So this is all about the LR rotation.